and welcome back to Deviance. A little bit of a, a hiatus there, but we're back now, shifting focus from the exclusive fetishes and moving on into fandoms. And what better fandom to start us off than Sanic? Because you gotta go fast. Fast indeed. If you want to get through 1.9 million fucking results on this website, just take a moment to really soak that in. 1.9 million pieces of artwork and fan fictions dedicated to a blue anthropomorphic hedgehog that was on a video game console in the fucking 90s. To say he's popular would be a little bit of an understatement, and the fandom around him on this website is, it's all kinds of special. I mean, sure, when you're scrolling through those results, it looks family friendly. I mean, this is a Sega mascot, and I'm sure the fandom that's built up around it is wholesome. I'm sure it's completely innocuous. Just lovely little fan art drawings talking about the appreciation for this video game character and the different forms of media that he's been in. But you would be fucking wrong is what you would be. Because this is deviant art, home to the most fucked up shit you can come across unless you want to be put on a watch list. I mean, you could, you could potentially do that, but this is like the gateway drug to the FBI paying attention to you. That's what this website is. Now, when you think of the Sonic fandom, a few things are going to pop into your head immediately. And it's, it's almost, you can't avoid it, because it's become synonymous with Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm talking about OC, original content, inspired by Sonic, but completely unique. It's an homage, is what the artist would tell you, because they're lying through their fucking teeth. Now, whether they're, they're tracing or they're recoloring, it's pretty much become a standard feature of the Sonic fandom. If you're a big Sonic fan, and especially if you're on DeviantArt, to create some abomination and give it your name. This is such a commonly accepted fact that people who don't even really pay attention to Sonic the Hedgehog at all, or the fandom at all, have probably seen Cold Steel the Hedgehog. Psh, nothing personal, kid. And you would think with mockery like this, with constant jokes talking about how terrible the OC and the Sonic fandom is, that that would stop them. But not at all. No, they persist. They continue on doing it. They run the gambit from ambiguous sexuality the Hedgehog to my fourth grader drew this. But each and every one of them takes themselves so fucking seriously. I don't even know what half of these things are. It's gotten to the point where they're just taking animal parts and sticking them onto hedgehogs and foxes and considering it a done job. I mean, fuck it. Let's take Sonic, crossbreed him with tails, paint him green, and give him a retractable scythe. OC, do not steal. And the characters just keep on coming one after the other, and it gets to the point where it's almost impossible to tell if the community is taking the piss out of itself, or if it's really fallen so far down the hole that it just can't see the light of day anymore. Here would be a good example of that. Now look at this edgy fucking shit. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the description. Yes, edgy. Anyways, I wanted to do a drawing because of my sadness. I was listening to creepy music, and then I wanted to draw one of my Sonic OCs. So is Bluxy Coon fucking with us, or is this legitimate? Now, compare what he just wrote in this drawing to Cold Steel the fucking Hedgehog, and see how eerily similar that is. Except in the case of Bluxy Coon, he's being on the level. At least, I think he is. I can't even tell anymore. But that picture, it just doesn't go far enough to capture the edge we need in an OC. No. I need to make a pairing. I need a bleeding eye werehog to fuck my original character, a punk mohawk Doberman. They're madly in love with one another. Which makes a lot of sense, because when you look at the Sonic fandom, you're going to notice a lot of these characters are having babies. I mean, it's one thing to write a backstory, but you need to explain where your creation came from. And there's only one way to do that. Sex. Everybody's having babies. Everybody's got a new little sibling that's been brought into the family, or they're fucking another character of the cast and popping out a clone that's now an original character. If only people knew just how gentle Shadow was on the inside, and how full Sonic's tummy is with his semen, because he's having his baby. Of course, don't anybody tell Sonic that Shadow's a cheating motherfucker, because he's banging Silver too. Shadow is one of the biggest pimps in the Sonic universe. He's fucking everyone, and magically getting them pregnant, whether they're male or female, I don't know how it works, but he's got like super semen. Super hedgehog semen. And like any good mother slash father, there's Sonic breastfeeding his fucking child. <laughs> but having only one kid, that, that really sucks. We need to have a big hedgehog family, so it's time for Sonic to return the favor. I can't, it's kicking so hard. Shadow, just clam down. You just need to clam down, Shadow. 
I mean, look at the love in their eyes. They're just, it's a romantic couple. This is completely normal, by the way, right? This is, this isn't fucking insane at all. Taking two male characters from a video game and then having them have gay sex until they produce babies. That's a totally normal thing to do when you're a fan of a franchise. But with all these characters having your original content babies, you're going to need somebody as a sitter because you've got to go out there and fight Eggman. Dr. Robotnik is not going to stop turning animals mechanical because you need to watch the baby. No, you need somebody to do that for you. Luckily, there happens to be a fox with a knack for doing just that. And perhaps one of the greatest pieces of literature ever written. Two babies, one fox. Oh, well, you see, look at that, Jim. You're saying that these people are are fucked up in the head, and they do weird shit, and they, they create really unoriginal characters, and then have them have gay sex with each other. But look at that. There's Tails. He's, he's doing something positive. He's raising other people's kids. That's a good thing. That's a, that's a strong moral message. Well, let's take a look at the comic book and see which, which direction Tails' child-rearing abilities goes. You both need to do something for me in return. Well, I wonder what Tails wants them to do. What possible thing could he be asking these young babies to do for him? I think one of them might have a clue as to what's coming up. I think they have a really good idea of exactly what Uncle Tails is looking for. If someone tries to touch you in a place or in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's no good. Now, if you've ever wondered, what would a comic book about an anthropomorphic fox molesting babies and eating their shit look like? Wonder no longer, because the Sonic fandom has answered that question for you. Uncle Tails is into some really kinky fucking shit. And for some reason, and even I'm not 100% sure as to why this is, maybe it's because Sonic's known for speed, and speed is equal to running, and running requires footwear, but for whatever reason, the Sonic fandom has a huge subculture of foot fetishists who are just deeply embedded into it, and draw really disgusting, disturbing shit related to hedgehog feet. They want to just, I just want to get down there and lick it. Yeah, take those fucking sneakers off, Sonic. I just want to, yeah, I want to live in there. Look at him. He loves that shit. What is it with Tails anyway? He likes the smell of baby shit and Sonic's dirty socks. When did we decide that Tails was the most fucked up in the whole group? What exactly did he do in the Sonic fandom to deserve that? What game pissed them off so much that they're like, you know what? I'm going to make sure this fox likes to eat shit and smell feet. I want you to just imagine yourself as the villain in this universe. Imagine yourself as Robotnik. And you're, you're doing your weird shit turning animals into machines. I don't know why you do it. You don't even know why you do it. And you come across this. These are the protagonists in the world you inhabit. And what is your, what is your reaction to that? Like, you're trying to do supervillain shit, and here they are half naked in the forest, sucking on each other's feet. Like, <laughs> how do you not put a gun in your mouth and just say, fuck it, hopefully I'll get reincarnated in a Mario game where things make more sense? They have entire DeviantArt groups dedicated to just this specific fetish within the fandom. And one of the contributions on this particular Sonic Feet fans group leads into even more bizarre stuff than that. Like, it's not enough that we have Sonic with dirty bare feet. Let's uh, gag him, put him in a glass tank, and drown his ass. You know, because that, that's, that's, that's the way to go. I want to see my anthropomorphic barefoot hedgehog get drowned to death, because that gets my dick hard. And believe me when I tell you, it gets their dick hard. Time for a Bath by Mr. Cobalt. After being captured, stripped naked, and tortured, the defeated hedgehog is marched down the dark, dirty hall and thrown into a glass tank by Eggman's robot goons. He watches the others bang and kick on the glass as their tanks fill. He hears water flushing through the pipes in the walls and Eggman's voice comes on the speaker. You've gotten so dirty on your little walk over here, Sonic. Eggman laughs. I think it's time to take a bath. So that little intro was Wolf's idea, and it made my cock shoot up so fast I thought I came. Cause that's what was missing from the Sonic fandom. Torture porn. I want to see more pictures like Shadow and Sonic gangbanging Silver the Hedgehog to death. You know, maybe they should have considered giving everybody else a gun rather than Shadow, because apparently they need the protection from him, or he's going to rape them while staring directly into their eyes. Look at this. I want you to look at me, Silver. I want you to look at me as I rape you to death. I'm going to have Sonic's baby. You're not, Silver. I'm going to fucking murder you. I'm going to murder fuck you to death. I am Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, it looks like the parents of those babies found out exactly what happened. Justice is swift in the Sonic universe, and Tails is not going to get away with it. <laughs> Can you just, just fucking look at this. 
<laughs> it's like fucking Sonic the Hedgehog had a crossover with the Saw universe. They've been put in their own death contraptions. Robotnik finally came up with a great solution. He's like, I'm just going to fucking kill him. <laughs> just, it goes on and on and on with the edgy, violent artwork. So when you look at all of this, people eating baby shit, sniffing each other's feet, murdering people, being crucified and tortured, having gay babies with one another, you're left, you're left with one really big question. Is it the fact that Sonic the Hedgehog inspires people to go insane, or are insane people attracted to Sonic the Hedgehog? Which, it's like the chicken and the egg. Does Sonic, does Sega cause autism, or is autism drawn towards Sega? Electric Hedgehog power! Pew!